subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in LPIC1 Certified Linux Administrator 101-500. So let's get started. Question number 1. Which type of file system is created by MKFS when it is executed with the block device name only, and without any additional parameters? Your options are AXFS B. VFAT C. X2 D. X3 The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2, which UMISC value ensures that new directories can be read? written and listed by their owning user, read and listed by their owning group and are not accessible at all for everyone else. Your options are A. 0750 B. 0027 C. 0036 D. 7640 The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3, which of the following is true when a file system which is neither listed in the following nor known to system, is mounted manually. Your options are A. System D ignores any manual mounts which are not done using the system to mount command. B. The command system to mount sync can be used to create a mount unit based on the existing mount. C. System D automatically generates a mount unit and monitors the mount point without changing it. D. Unless a system D mount unit is created, system D unmounts the file system after a short period of time. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 4, what does the command mount bind do? Your options are A. It makes the contents of one directory available in another directory. B. It mounts all available file systems to the current directory. C. It mounts all user mountable file systems to the user's home directory. D. It mounts all file systems listed in the following which have the option user bind set. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 5. In order to display all currently mounted file systems, which of the following commands could be used? Choose 2. Your options are A. Cat slash proc slash self slash mounts. B. Free. Seals mounts. D mount. The correct answers are option A and D. Question number six. When considering the use of hard links, what are valid reasons not to use hard links? Your options are A. Hard links are not available on all Linux systems because traditional file systems, such as X4, do not support them. B. Each hard link has individual ownership permissions and ACLs which can lead to unintended disclosure of file content. C hard links are specific to one file system and cannot point to files on another file system. D. If users other than root should be able to create hard links, Soln has to be installed and configured. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7, in compliance with the FAHS, in which of the directories are man pages found? Your options are. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 8, what is the process ID number of the init process on a system v init based system? Your options are A, minus 1 B, 0 C, 1 D, it is different with each reboot. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 9, which daemon handles power management events on a Linux system? Your options are A. Aspid B. Batteried C. PWRMGNTD D. PSD The correct answer is, option A. Question number 10, which of the following statements are true about the boot sequence of a PC using a BIOS? Choose 2. Your options are a. Some parts of the boot process can be configured from the BIOS. B. Linux does not require the assistance of the BIOS to boot a computer. C. The BIOS boot process starts only if secondary storage, such as the hard disk, is functional. D. The BIOS initiates the boot process after turning the computer on. The correct answers are, option A, and D. 
For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.